I am Jean Pullman and I'm teaching pre-op teaching. My patient is Joy. She's a 44-year-old female who is having a laparoscopic cholecystectomy with Dr. Newton today. Joy has already completed a phone assessment and I will be working from that information. Good morning, Joy. My name is Jeannie and I'm going to be your nurse this morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you a little nervous? Yes. Okay. That's okay. I'll work you through this. I'll uh, make sure that you get through this and do very well postoperatively. Um, I see you already did a urine pregnancy test and that it was negative. Yes. Woo! Woo! So first, can you confirm your name and your birth date for me, please? Yes, I am Joy Simonson and my birth date is 9-16-1973. Thank you. And who is your surgeon this morning? Dr. Newton. And what are we doing for you? Uh, gonna re remove my gallbladder. Okay, thank you. Um, and Joy, when is the last time that you had something to eat? Um, around 10 o'clock last night. Okay. Um, yeah, I had a sandwich. Okay. Is, it, it, why, do you, why does everybody ask that? So we ask that because if during your procedure, when you're so relaxed from the anesthesia, if something would come up from your stomach and go into your breathing tube, it can be very serious and cause pneumonia. So it's very important that you not have anything to eat or drink after midnight. Oh. Um, I see on here that you take metoprolol, 100 milligrams daily. Did you take that this morning? Yes, with a little sip of water. Perfect. Okay. And Joy, are you allergic to any drugs or foods? Uh, Percocet. Percocet. Okay. And what happens when you take Percocet? Oh, I get horrible hives. Okay. Well, we're going to put this bracelet on you, and this will alert everyone that you have a drug allergy, and they'll probably ask you the whole time you're here, what you're allergic to, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, so Joy, the other thing I need to do is get you to sign the consent here. And let me see, do I, yes, I do have a pen. Okay, so Joy, this consent says that you are Joy Simonson, mm -hmm. and it authorizes Dr. George Brody Newton mm -hmm. to do a laparoscopic cholecystectomy with uh, intraoperative cholangiogram. Does that sound correct to you? Yes, he explained that all to me. Okay, and did he explain the risk and benefits of your surgery? Yes. And what would happen if you did not have the surgery? Yes. Okay, um, and this says that you do consent to the administration of blood and blood products yes. with no exceptions, is that correct? correct. Okay, um, the other question I have, uh, we're gonna put Percocet as your allergy so that everyone knows when they see this consent, you cannot tolerate Percocet. Okay. Um, the two other things I wanted to ask you about, um, there are often healthcare personnel in the operating room. These can be nursing students, medical students, equipment reps. Um, do you consent to them being in the room? You do not have to say yes. They in no way, shape, or form participate in the procedure. They're merely there either as an observer or as a reference with equipment. Did oh, they? yes. Okay. I feel it's important that people should learn. Okay, great. Well, we'll get your, uh, to initial that there. And the other thing that does happen is sometimes these procedures are videotaped uh, in order that uh, the surgeons and medical students, nursing students can learn from these. Sometimes the videotapes are even shown to the patient. Do you have a problem with that? No. Okay, great. So we're going to get you to sign. If you would sign this consent right here for me. Sure. Thank you. Right. So Joy, also this morning, um, your jewelry will need to come off. Oh, okay. Your, um, if you have any piercings, and your um, any piercings, all piercings must come out. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. sorry, Joy. Um, your earrings and your rings, you can um, give those. To, we can put them in a little baggie for you, and you can give them to whoever's here with you. Who came with you this morning? Oh, my husband. And will he be in the building while you're having your procedure? Yes. And then will you have someone with you at home for 24 hours? Yes. Okay, very good. And is it okay for the surgeon to share information with your husband? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, let me see, Joy. What else do we need to go over? Um, let me see. I'm going to be starting an IV, and this IV will be the only needle stick that you'll have today. We do numb it before we start it. After that, all your medicines will go through that, except, of course, when you're in recovery, if you need a pain pill. Okay? Will you be gentle? Oh, I promise. I'll be very, very gentle. So Thank you, Jeannie. You're welcome, Joy.
You're putting me at ease. Yeah, oh, well, good. That's my goal, Joy. Okay, so here, we're going to start the IV. Okay, the IV is started. That was painless, wasn't yes. it? Yes, I know. You're so okay. fast. Well, How thank you. Doing that, Jenny? Girl, it's not my first rodeo. Yes. Okay. Um, now, Joy, the other thing, uh, your surgeon will come in to speak with you before the, your surgery, and the anesthesiologist will also come in and talk to you and review your medical history. Sometimes it seems a bit redundant, but that way everyone is familiar with your case. Um, and the anesthesiologist will tell you what kind of anesthesia they're going to use, okay? Okay. Um, the circulating nurse from the operating room will come in and introduce herself to you. That's the nurse who's kind of in charge during the procedure. Okay. Um, so she'll make sure that everything's all set for you, any special requests from you. Okay. Um, and then what you'll notice is that when you get into the operating room, you'll get on the table, they'll put a warm blanket over you, they'll put um, vinyl wraps around your legs, they're called sequential compression devices. Uh, you'll feel them massaging your legs. These are to prevent blood clots. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and you will also be asked one more time your name, your, your birth date, your surgeon, and what we're doing for you. That's called a timeout. That's to ensure that we do the right surgery on the right patient. Okay. Oh, thank you. What questions do you have for me? I think you've been quite thorough. I don't have any questions. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. All right.